Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Car 5 Podcast. What's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining me today for episode number 162 of the Car 5 Podcast. You guys know me, of course. I'm your host, Joshua. For today's episode, we're going to be talking about, just in my opinion anyway, the best cars of 2019. And what a year that was, 2019. Um, I'm very fortunate to say, just just personally, I had a phenomenal year. And for all of us car enthusiasts out there, we definitely had a phenomenal year. We had some absolutely incredible cars debut and records were broken and new ideas were implemented and new technology came out. Just being a car enthusiast the past few years um, has been a, has been um, quite amazing. Not saying I've been a car enthusiast the past few years. I've been a car person since I was 11 years old, but in the past few years in general, uh, just the tech technology is just incredible. The way the whole automotive world is shifting is, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't even know where to begin of all the new things that's going on and the ideas and the implementations that are going on, the transitions from, you know, just gas to hybrids, but then hybrids to electrics and then gas to electrics. There's just so many things going on and it's all happening so fast. Sometimes it can be hard to keep up of what's going on, but hey, that's what we got this podcast for. So let's go ahead and dive in. And so what I think were the best cars of 2019. And of course, I want to hear your guys' response after this. Do you agree, agree with my entire list? Do you disagree with my entire list? Do we have some of the same cars on our both list? So let's go ahead and, and just see what we got. So very first car up, ladies and gentlemen, the very first car, one of the cars that I was most excited about in the year of 2019 is the official release of the 2020 Shelby GT500. Now, if you're new to this podcast, one thing you get to know immediately about me is how much I love Mustangs and how much I love the Shelby brand. So this one, uh, I just... It, it shell shocked me in every which way when it came out and it debuted. And it's just, it's everything, honestly. Carroll Shelby, bless his heart, rest his soul. If he was still alive today, he would be so proud of this car. It is the fastest production and most powerful GT500 ever made. It's got a 5.2 liter supercharged V8 that produces 760 horsepower and 625 pound feet of torque. And I've said this before when we actually talked about uh, this car in a previous podcast episode. I was super lucky and fortunate enough to actually get my hands on a 2020 GT500 in August of 2019 during Monterey Car Week. And let me tell you, uh, this thing just did not disappoint. It's almost a little bit scary. You got to know how to drive it. But do you guys dis disagree or agree? 2020 GT500 is one of the top cars of 2019. It absolutely was for me. Car number two making it on the list. We're back to Ford again with the Ford GT Mark II track car. Basically what this car is, when Ford produced the newest GT for, I believe it was 16, 17, and 18, for three years they introduced a brand new Ford GT utilizing a 3.5 liter tur twin turbocharged V6, proving their EcoBoost technology in order to give this GT a proper send off and put it out of production again, Ford uh, partnered up with Multimatic, a company, and they produced the Ford GT Mark II, which is solely a 100% based track car. It's actually not street legal. And this car basically is a beefed up Ford GT in every which way, shape, or form. It's lighter, it's tuned for more horsepower, it's got more aerodynamics, and it's pretty expensive. There's only 45 of these Mark II GTs being built, each of them costing $1.2 million. It's been tuned up to 700 horsepower. It's got extremely advanced aerodynamics. It's got rear wheel drive, and it's utilizing a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic. So in regards to track cars that came out this year, 
uh, for me, this is the head honcho. This is the big cheese. So <laughs> let me know what you think of car number two on the best cars of 2019. So far, we got the 2020 Shelby GT500, and we've got the Ford GT Mark II with Multimatic. Now, car number three on our list of top cars of 2019, the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera that was specially designed by James Bond himself, Daniel Craig. Now, this is one car that I think should be on everyone's top cars of the list. Why? Uh, one, I think in regards to being a sole GT car, this is definitely, um, without a doubt, one of my favorites. But two, it's a car that James Bond made himself. I mean, come on. How could it, how could it not be on the best cars of 2019? Daniel Craig solely designed this car. Um, it's, it's still got the same 5.2 liter twin tow recharged V12, producing 715 horsepower and 664 pound feet of torque. Now, how Daniel Craig designed this, he actually used special combinations of carbon fiber and variants of blue. Now, the blue that's that's being used, it really is pretty unique. Just looking at it again right now, it's like a, it's, it's like a, a a light navy or like a faded ocean blue. I don't even remember the technical name of it, but it's got a very, very unique look and it actually utilizes the same wheels that is on the special edition OHMSS, which is on Her Majesty's Secret Service, DBS Superleggera. And again, with this car, if you were able to purchase it, you do get a special edition watch that comes with the car as well. Very James Bond alike. And just from a steer GT standpoint and kind of special edition and being unique and I mean, come on, it was designed by James Bond. How could it not? But <laughs> that's my reasoning for it being on the list for the best cars of 2019. And honestly, I just love it. So what's going on there anyway? And I don't care what anybody says. Next car on the list, we have the Porsche Taycan. My main reasoning for this actually has to do with the company itself, Porsche. Yes, it's Porsche's very first all-electric car, which is super important, very exciting. And between the variants of the Taycan you can get, it actually goes up to 751 horsepower giving tesla some very good competition and all while being 100 percent electric and being eco-friendly but the reason why this car made the list for me is it just has to do with porsche and it's demonstrating their desire to make the greatest all-around sports cars no matter what no matter if we're talking about gas engine only hybrid or 100 percent electric car porsche is standing by their goal and their whole company of saying we are the best we are the best all-around sports car that money can buy. And their their competitive nature and kind of honestly their fierceness behind that is why I think this car for me made that list is they are willing to adapt, uh, change, um, create brand new automotive technology to not only keep up to customer demand, but to keep up with modern day automotive standards as well. And they're just raising the bar. There's a couple companies out there that are constantly raising the bar, and Porsche is one of them. And I think they uh, displayed that perfectly with their Porsche Taycan. Next car we have on the list for the best cars of 2019 is the Lamborghini SVJ Roadster. Now, this one is kind of a personal thing with me as well. Again, if you're joining this podcast for the first time, you'll know I also have a heartfelt passion for the Lamborghini Aventador. It is my favorite supercar, which at least for me and my personal favorites list, this car did make the list. You might disagree with me. You might not like the car at all, but for me, it's on here because I think combined with a 6.5 liter V12, 770 horsepower, 531 pound-feet of torque, the most track-aggressive production um, Aventador that is, again, street legal, the SVJ. And there's just nothing like an Italian-crafted V12 that this car legitimately spits flames, and you got the roof off. You can hear the engine, hear the exhaust. You got the wind blowing through your hair. Driving a car that looks like an SVJ Roadster, I don't think there's a better-looking supercar. And just in my opinion, this is the car. This is the supercar. And so for me personally, in my list of 2019, of course, you have to throw the best supercar on there. And for me of 2019, it was the 2020 or 2019 
Lamborghini SVJ Roadster. You've got a V12 throwing flames, and you, you can hear every minute of it, plus you're in the elements of the outdoors. Moving on to the next vehicle, the Tesla <laughs> Cybertruck. I don't know if many people expected this car to be on the list. It's very simple. Again, has to do with the company itself, like Porsche. This car made my list because of Elon Musk and Tesla. They're making the cars they want to make, and they're creating them how they want to create them. And they don't care what anybody says. I feel like if this truck design was involved in any other company, they would have completely axed the project and not moved forward with it at all. They would have said, this is weird. Even though we like it, we don't think consumers will like it. We'll raffle up the papers and throw away because we think this, this project is going to be crap. That is the exact opposite of Tesla. And I think that's one of the things that separates Elon Musk from the rest of the competition. He's not, I don't think they're necessarily comparing themselves to other people because they're creating new. They're setting a bar. They're setting a standard for the electric car world. And they just set a brand new standard for trucks. I mean, a truck like this has never existed before. They like the design. They implemented the design. They manufactured the design. They created the car and they created the demand for it. Nobody thought this car would sell, yet there's over 200,000 reservations for the Tesla Cybertruck. I think they're doing something right. And for me, that's why the Tesla Cybertruck made this list is because no matter what anybody said, Tesla and Elon Musk, despite all the negativity that people have said about them and have said about the Tesla truck, they're just doing them. And you know what? They're succeeding at it, and they display that perfectly with their Cybertruck. Last but most certainly not least on the best cars of 2019 is actually not a car at all, but it's the movie, Ford vs. Ferrari movie. And for me, the reason why this car made, or this car, <laughs> this movie made the list is coming from kind of a diehard car enthusiast like myself. Uh, just my opinion, there's not that many good car movies out there. Rush was a phenomenal movie. Um, and Rush was a phenomenal movie. <laughs> so there's just, I can't really name many very good car movies out there. I'm not a Fast and Furious person. I'm really not, honestly. I think they're kind of dumb. I don't like them at all. Um, I think the whole franchise died after the fourth Fast and Furious movie. I think after the fourth one. I think just from a car person standpoint, it's not even a car movie anymore. It's all about guns and headbutts and action. And the first four movies, they were they were car movies. They were car related movies. But I mean, there's just not not good car movies out there nowadays. And again, that's just me in my opinion. I think Ford versus Ferrari, absolutely epic, absolutely phenomenal. Told the stories of one of the greatest automotive um stories of all time carol shelby you know battling enzo ferrari and corporate ford though carol shelby and ford were kind of on the same team they were at odds with each other a little bit as well in 1966 le mans the three four gts crossed the finish line at a one two three finish defeating enzo ferrari and the ferrari team and it's just it's just a phenomenal movie learning about carol shelby at the time learning about ford at that time learning about enzo ferrari at that time Ken Miles at that time is this is a real movie that's not made up. It's based on historical events that actually happen in the car world. If you haven't seen it, it stars Christian Bale's Ken Miles and Matt Damon as Carol Shelby. And just in my opinion, the greatest car movie ever, hands down. But that's my list, ladies and gentlemen, for 2019. Recap real quick. We got the 2020 Shelby GT500. Ford GT Mark II with Multimatic. You got the Aston Martin DBS Superleggera designed by James Bond himself, Daniel Craig. You got the Porsche Taycan, the Lamborghini SVJ Roadster. You got the Tesla Cybertruck, and you got the Ford vs. Ferrari movie. 
Let me know what you guys think. Do you agree 100% with my list? Do you disagree 100% with my list? Um, do I have a couple cars on here that match your list at all? Or are we just miles apart um, in which we agree or we disagree? But let me know what you guys think. I would love to hear your list of best cars of 2019. Send me an email, comment, send me a DM, message me, whatever. I want to know what you guys think and your favorites of 2019 were. But that's all we have for episode number 162. Don't forget to follow on Instagram, like on Facebook. If you guys are checking out this podcast for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. Feel free to head over to the YouTube channel as well. Um, But if you're already watching on YouTube, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And just browse the channel. If you guys see what you like, hit that subscribe button. And if you don't mind, leave a like on this video as well. If you ever need anything from me, just shoot me an email. Info at car5podcast.com. Last but most certainly not least, don't forget to tune into our next episode, 163. And we're going to be talking about hypercars. And this conversation is for the next episode is that that's actually all it is. It's just a conversation because I think the term hypercar is being used too loosely nowadays and doesn't really apply anymore. So should be something interesting to talk about so that's it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for tuning in please remember to drive safe and have a fantastic evening thank you